peace and love. Sending you all positive energy and high vibes. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments or any questions in my description below. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the spring Eagle Knox, also the new year, and how was it celebrated in one of the first mother civilizations to practice African spirituality in ancient Kenya. They were big on studying the astronomical science of the universe and also the study of the soul. Okay, so when we deal with spring equinox, it's known to be celebrated around March the 23rd to the 25th. And the days vary. Sometimes it's celebrated in April. Also, it's celebrated different hemispheres, different months. Okay, always be familiar with that. African descent celebrates around September the 23rd to the 24th. Days varies as well. I'll always be familiar with that. Also, when we're dealing with the spring equinox, it's symbolic to both of the hemispheres having equal day and equal night. Now, when we're dealing with the energy, we have different ancient events that took place. So I'm going to break them down so you'll have the understanding of how they were celebrated in ancient Kemet and also some other traditions as well. Okay, now the spring equinox marks the beginning of the year. It's symbolic to everything starting to green. That's why the founding father, Asar, is found in color green, symbolic to renewal of life, okay? Also, it represents birth of mother nature. Now, in ancient Kemet, one of the first mother civilizations, they had a building called Sakar that was built by an African man by the name of Hamilton. Okay, Sakar was the place also where Mother Earth, Mother Nature was reborn. Okay. It's also known to be Metanetra. So we had different interpretations, different symbols in ancient Kemet, but they had many concepts, okay? So, for an example, we had the Sakaar, the first building built in ancient Kemet by Hamilton. Also, Sakaar is symbolic to the place of birth of Mother Earth. Okay, also known as Metanetter. So we had Metanetter that's symbolic to Mother Earth. Also, Metanetter is symbolic to the first ancient writing found in ancient Kemet in stone. Okay, I always be familiar with that. So then we have Amon Ra that mimics death and rebirth. So Amon Ra honoring that resonated with stone hinges. We had 12 stones, and it was symbolic to Amon Ra sitting in the constellation 2,155 years. Okay, adding up the ages. Also, it's symbolic to a 26,000 year period of the great year. Excuse me, I'm moving these books around. <laughs> so, 
that mean that we experience the astronomical event twice okay so in a place called Ra Hemuit we had Newt giving birth to the sun also it was in a place called Tia also in Ethiopia known as the mother of ancient Kemet where they did the honoring of new giving birth to son also they did the honoring of the astronomical events of the stones that resonated with Amun Ra in the zodiac signs okay it's found in stone and the place it's called Rock Hemurit. Okay. Also, when we're dealing with the spring equinox, it's symbolic to Amin Ra going above that equator, traveling for three days. Okay. Always be familiar with that. So, when we think of death and rebirth in ancient Kemet, it's mimic. And it shows us 616 on the clock. How we resonate with nature. Okay. And that's why the ancients were big on study of the soul. Okay. Because it resonates with the divine being. So, as we have the energy of the spring equinox marking the new year. It's also symbolic to the first full moon. After the equinox, we have that first full moon on that Sunday that marks the beginning of the year, marks Easter, and it marks spring. Okay? <laughs> so, we also have a star. He is found in color green. And it's symbolic to renewal of death and rebirth, okay? Because when we have the winter, that means everything is dead, okay? Then when we have spring equinox, the beginning of the year, it marks things that are starting to green, it's starting to come back to life again. So this is the time to do creation, self-reflecting, planting our seeds, adding things on that's essential for the growth, okay? And being able to elevate, have that death to let go of things that is no longer serving us, that's dead. And adding things on that's essential, high vibrating, loving, that's going to help us on our path of ascension, okay? I always be familiar with that. Also, when we deal with the bunny rabbit, it's symbolic to the full moon because it's said that the bunny rabbit is born with its eyes open, okay? And it marks the first day of spring, <laughs> the, the beginning of the year, and the equinox energy as well, okay? So, also, we have a set. Now, a set gave holy birth to her son, Haru, by the dead spirit of Asar. Okay, this is the first original story. So, when we think of the bunny rabbits, also, fertility is symbolic to the founding mother of ancient Kemet. Everyone enters from the womb, okay? We are manifested from the womb, the physical, and that water. The water is symbolic to the divine feminine energy of our first baptism being in that water, okay? I always be familiar with that. And in ancient Kemet, 
they did a powerful ritual and it was one of the earliest rituals and it was symbolic through everyone having to go through that water line that math that um water line event of fertility of divine feminine energy okay the Macklin bloodline so we had high priests that went to school for 20 to 40 years and they also performed a powerful ritual in the honoring of divine feminine energy going through that Macklin bloodline also known as the baptism in the beginning okay so as you think about it as we are manifested into physical reality we first come from that woman's womb okay that's a womb of water <laughs> it did we have these deep transformational experiences okay and it's physical and it's for growth and expansion so we have to find our way home which is through the womb the intuitive to go back to have spiritual ascension okay and that's what's mimicked throughout ancient Kemet of death and rebirth so we have the sun okay sun always goes down below the equator for three days then it arises it mimics death and rebirth okay then we have the energy of the Ka and also the Fa, okay? And it mimics death and rebirth because we have that physical body and also that spiritual body. So it's known to be, the Ba is known to be the soul and the Ka is known to be the spirit. So they did a powerful ritual of mummification and it describes death and rebirth metamorphosis okay because the physical body stays as the soul is awakening and it awakens that God that dwells within them okay meaning free from all bandages okay and it arises and it dances and it's found in ancient Kemet in monuments with its hands up and one leg up meaning it's free from all bandage okay it's free from oppression but it assess that God that dwells within them so they went through the process of death and rebirth now as we view the mummy the mummy has the bandages on it okay and as we ascend, we perceive a higher level of consciousness, we go through the traumatic times, 13, 13 on the clock. We arise, we awaken our true divinity, the God that dwells within us. Okay? And we then have soul evolution. We have that death and rebirth that's mimicked throughout nature. Okay? So we have the metanetor mother earth that mimics death and rebirth it's well okay always be familiar with that so when we think of the female energy and the bunny rabbits fertility it's symbolic to a set she's the first founding mother okay always be familiar with that and when we deal with the Easter bunny it also is known to carry two litters at one time. So it's heavy fertility as well. I always be familiar with that. So, it's a lot of energy here. So to make sure I give you all the accurate information. <laughs> now, different traditions, like I said, depending on the hemispheres and also the timing is it, it just varies 444 on the clock so they had a goddess by the name of Eastern that they celebrated and she's known to 
sit at the altar and they paint the Easter eggs and she's symbolic to having bringing fur and also a bunny rabbit that's symbolic to fertility and also the founding father a soul okay she represents sex children fertility mystical magical powers she's known to be the goddess of the east okay now we have the energy of it was a goddess named Melusine and she is worshipped as a goddess of water fertility mermaid childbirth as well she is seen on the Starbucks pictures as well and it's the divine feminine energy of fertility okay now we have Greek mythology that celebrates actually Easter and it's celebrated saying that Jesus Christ died for the Christian sins okay so he has his death and rebirth 16 16 on a clock and he dies and then rise again after the third day as well okay and it's celebrated in Greek mythology with eggs chocolate candy tradition of different foods as well okay and it's known to be connected with sexual energy as well okay so <laughs> it's for us to perceive a higher level of consciousness by all the allegories in the universe being able to perceive a higher level of consciousness and to awaken that God that dwells within us and look at the allegories not for separation but to perceive a higher level of consciousness and see what can we gain in a sin by the, the allegories that we hear okay also in ancient Kemet we have a sore erection that was placed in stone in ancient Kemet and it was used for soul evolution based upon the earthly and also the spiritual events that took place okay and it was symbolic to death and rebirth because before the sunrise we had divine masculine that has an erection so that's what it was symbolic to in ancient Kemet of uh, the phallus being left in stone it was symbolic to having soul evolution okay always be familiar with that so we can take the energy of the spring equinox the beginning of the new year rebirth new starts renewal okay divine feminine energy water fertility a set the founding mother a star the founding father okay now also a star starts off the beginning of the zodiac sign in african descent okay and that's what the realm is symbolic to as well also the fur with the rabbit now we have the moon <laughs> and the crescent that is symbolic to fertility as well in ancient Kemet. okay and like I said, the moon energy, the crescent energy, fertility, divine feminine energy as well. Okay, so we can take the energy of the equinox, the beginning of the year, the rabbit, divine feminine energy, and we could be able to be in perfect alignment if we are African descent because we have to know what was to know what is also if we are any other tradition 
we can have the understanding of the allegory and see how could it help us to ascend to have soul evolution okay death and rebirth is mimic throughout worldwide okay and it's showing us how to be able to tap into the true divinity of the essence of the soul and see what we can add on that's essential okay and this was a great holiday that was celebrated worldwide and still can be celebrated worldwide by unifying bringing everyone together okay celebrating that divine feminine energy celebrating that divine masculine energy celebrating life on earth celebrating mother earth going out and being observant to what's going on with the astronomical science okay connecting with the astronomical science of the sun the moon and also the stars okay once we align with nature we align to the true divinity and it helps us to become one to become whole and know the ancient origins of what was to know what is always be familiar with that so I love you all 21 21 on the clock I'm sending you all positive energy high vibes success on your entrepreneurship our love our positivity and I'll be back with more I love you all peace and love